So you hear you're supposed to use a metronome, but how do you even start? Hi, I'm Barbara, and I run a small music business called Fish Harper LLC. It includes my work as a harpist, as well as private music instruction and some online resources. In today's video, I'm going to do a little introduction to the metronome. The metronome. The metronome. Some tips on how to use it. This is just a starting point. If you have questions or tips, please leave them in the comments and share them with all of us. First of all, there are a variety of metronome types. There's this one. It's more of like one of my students might say an old school metronome. There's this metronome, which has the dial and you can change the beats to about four beats away each time three to four or two to four something like that and then there's this kind which looks a lot like a tuner and you can change the tempo beat by beat or number by number and then also you can use a free there are free apps for your smartphone or tablet if you have such things i believe you can also get them online via your computer or if you have an electronic keyboard those sometimes have metronomes so you have your metronome now how do you use it to practice? All right, we're gonna do this with Camp Town Races, which is the focus piece that I've included with my Fake Books e-course. I'll have a link down below. At the time of filming, it's still in beta testing, so you can get in on that. You might be watching this when it's totally finished, but I'll have a link below either way. So I'm gonna use this metronome, and we're gonna start with Camp Town Races. First of all, you wanna break your piece down. So for this example, we're gonna do two measures at a time. Depending on the piece, you could break it down to one measure, half a measure, a beat, you know, break it down however. First, we're gonna start off with, like I said, the first two measures, and we're gonna start it off at a quarter note equals 60. So what that means is each click is gonna be a quarter note, and the number is gonna be set to 60. And then we're going to start with left hand alone. You can start with right hand alone. I think it's nice to start with left hand alone because often that's more difficult. So here we go. And this piece is a fake book piece, so I'm just going to be playing the chord in my left hand. I'm going to be playing it block style for this example. And the way I'm playing it this time, I'm going to play the block chord left hand once per measure. So it'll essentially be a whole note, so it will get four beats. And then once you get it, try to get it three times in a row with no mistakes. If that's not working, break it down to a smaller piece and or slow it down. If you have a metronome like this, just turn the dial once. So now I'm to 62. Now I've got it at 62, I'm gonna turn it up to 64. Okay, now we're going to speed along and I'm going to move up to 80. If you're practicing and it's something that's very easy for you, you can speed it up as well. If it's not super easy, don't rush yourself to speeding up. And then we want to do that speeding up by approximately two, two to four clicks each time, all the way up to we're going to go to 120, okay? So I'm going to Speed on ahead to 120. So we've got that. We're going to pretend like I did it three times in a row with no mistakes. And also, before you start, make sure you give a few clicks or several clicks or as many as you need for you to really get that beat in your system. Now that we're up to 120 with the left hand, we're going to go back and do the same thing with the right hand starting at 60. that to three times in a row we're going to speed up to 62. okay we're going to pretend like that thumb actually played better than it did and if you're practicing something that has fingerings in 
that's debatable. It could be that everything should have fingerings in it. But go ahead and make sure you're getting those fingerings as well. So I'm going to speed on ahead to 80, but you'd want to go two to four beats or two to four clicks up at a time. Again, unless it's really simple. And simple is pretty relative. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to 120. So now that you've got both hands separately at 120, three times in a row, no mistakes, we're gonna go back to 60 and we're gonna put those hands together. Okay, so now that you've got it 120, each hand, three times in a row, no mistakes, we're gonna go back and do the same thing, back to 60, but we're gonna do hands together. So we'll go 60, then speed it up a little, two to four beats, or two to four clicks, and then up to whatever tempo you need it to be. three times in a row. Speed it up to 62. Okay, and now fast forward to 80. As you're doing this, you'll want to go little by little. But who wants to sit and watch me play through all that? Okay, now we'll use 120 as our goal. down to practice you're probably not going to go through it that fast sometimes you might just move up one click per practice session and then when you come back to practice again go back one click or two to three depending on the kind of metronome so if you're using a metronome like this let's say you ended on 84 okay then the next time you sit down to practice you're going to go down to 80 which is the next little notch down okay and then you're going to do the next part so we'll pretend like we got to the next part with 120 okay so then it's gonna be. All right, and then you wanna take it back. We'll do 100. Then I'm gonna do measures two and three. So where those measures connect, I'm gonna do those with the metronome. Okay, then get those three times. We're gonna go all the way up to 120. We'll go back to 100 and do all four measures. Okay, then get that three times in a row. Move it up a little bit. it up to 120 or whatever your goal is and then so on and so forth and different teachers might have different opinions on this but I have my feeling is depending on your goal but if you're playing for fun if practicing with the metronome is gonna make you avoid practicing don't worry about it but it is a super helpful tool especially if you write down as you go what your markings are you can really see your progress I'll also have a link below to a free tracking sheet for your metronome progress and if you have any questions please drop them in the comments and if you have any hints for working with the metronome please drop them in the comments don't forget to give me a visit on social media Facebook Twitter Instagram or all at Fish Harper Jr. I'll have a link somewhere and until next time thumbs up